I'm a YouTuber, I love making shorts, man. I think I'm just straightforward. I live a neat life. And um, my best friend was the late TV star Harvey Silver. He died young from seizures. And uh, he got me started as a background actor. And I remember in tribute when I found out he died, like a year after he died. And um, I got emailed me, my ex Russian girlfriend was going through it. And then um, he kept inviting me. And I was like, yeah, yeah, well, we had to get a chance. And then she. And I finally got in the mood to see him, and I'm like, yeah, not in the mood rather, but, you know, I was just like going through stuff in uh, my mind. We're our own master of our own thoughts. So, the problems you have, you could alleviate the album, just like, you know, and, and success comes from here. So, and, anyway, so uh, his girlfriend emailed me back, like, uh, after I emailed him, like, a month ago, or whatever it was. She said, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm Joanna, his girlfriend, Harvey, passed away. And it's like, man, Mike Tyson hit me in the face like three times, as hard as punches. But anyway, so I took, I went to Philadelphia Community College as a drama major. Just had a tribute to him. Natasha was like, we're still cool. She's like, I'll pay you to go to x-ray technician class. I was like, I'm not interested in it. You know, you could be passionate what you're passionate about. I care about Harvey. He's my best friend. We got along like, Psh. You know, he was like Will Smith, I was Jazzy Jeff, and um, for him to die, that just devastated me. And um, so I, I was a drama major at community college, and I've been shocked my whole life. I'm always just some attention for some reason, good and bad. And um, so after you take like two semesters of it, then you could do theater. And then I remember they had a talent show, and the lady who was doing for the talent show was my professor for the, she was like, she like Katasha, the same age, long blonde hair, it's weird. But, uh, you know, so anyway, I tried to for a talent show, and uh, I didn't do good. She was just straight up with me, like, nah, that's, you gotta get in front of everybody, you gotta, you know. So, I'm gonna do this for my amusement. It's, uh, the scene I did, I was, uh, Sergeant Wardrobe, it's like Scarface, you can't, it's iconic. For, and especially for black people. The movie's called Soldier Story, Denzel Washington got, that's his first major breakout movie. That's like Independence Day, like Will, Will Smith, and uh, the show you can act. And then uh, my mom, after teaching, she had teached for many years, and she became a realtor, and she sold something, the property, to the guy who wrote the uh, playwright for Soldier's Story. It was a black cast, it was a great movie, one of my all-time favorite black movies. But anyway, I'm just doing it for my amusement. But the scene was, I slept the scene, it was like World War II, black the military was segregated, black people were fighting overseas to kill people and come back home, Jim Crow was look up in the history books. It was not good, like Chris Rock said, it's a station of slavery. But anyway, um, here's the scene. So, and I, I'm not saying I'm gonna get Kevin Ward, and they didn't even get Kevin Ward, and it, I'm not, I'm a show off, not a really great actor, but this is what I did for the talent show, and I think you picked, but it's like Sergeant Ward, just, and he, he just hate that buffoonery. You see it in a lot of Tyler Perry movies, and, it's like, you know, and he was just like, we knew it was a war, man. We, black people should be strong. So anyway, so he goes, um, let me think. Uh, how's it go? It's uh, the kind of boy that seems innocent. Look, okay. you know, everybody that posts it, he's a strong black buck. White boys, and he's his strength. And his speed, power in his swing. And his colors are champion. The same white boy is called Shine the Sambo. He just smiles. Can't talk. Can barely be by his own name. He don't care. He tell them they like him. Color folks ain't supposed to have a silver sense. You know the damage one of you a Negro can do. We were in France the first war. We won decorations. But the white boys to all the French girls we had tails. I found this ignorant color soldier. Paved down and tail to his ass running right at the neck and making monkey sounds. Put on a big round table in the cafe Napoleon. Put a reed in his hand. Crown on his head. But I ain't gonna show this many bananas for those fishes. Dance at night. Yeah, so I believe this is a boy's picture on it. Call him Moonshine and Kim the Monkeys. And when he slits the throat, you know that full ass so he don't want him. My dad told me to turn him back in the sky walking. Clothes are ranks, chilling, collard green, cornbread style. 
my men, soldiers. Uh, Tim Falk, I used to be cheated out of this place. I don't know, expecting this war. I was a fool like CJ. You watch everything he does. Everything. Alright, so that was no. I was, that's the first time I did it in years, so I'm just me to myself. But, um. That's why I love YouTube. It's not like I'm not trying to be perfect. Nobody's perfect, but it's like I can see many like your life is like like a puzzle. So many pieces and some things don't fit. <laughs> and now I can see like the real wow. Like 60 years a long time. Nah, that's so that's old to me. But I'm healthy and never had COVID. I damn sure need for Viagra. But uh, I love I love making videos. It shows yourself. There's no one can watch my videos. So he's just acting. He's scripted. Nah, but I watch so much stuff on YouTube. It's like, oh my God, that's most trending. That's some, that's dumb shit. <laughs> no, to me, excuse my language. But anyway, yeah, I'm not going to carry me over that performance. But I just want to do it for my own music. Anyway, go on. Like LeBron said, have a great day. Go on with your life. I'm going with mine. <laughs>